What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we are not breaking any boxes because, as you can see, we have a nice big stack of cards fresh back from PSA. This is an 18 card submission that was sent at the uh, the lowest level. I forget what bulk standard. I'm not, I'm not sure what the lowest level is called. Um, I send them all through a group submitter, PC Sports Cards. These are $19 per card, and we're going to go ahead and start going through these and see what grades we got back from PSA. It's been a while since we've gotten anything back from PSA. Um, last reveal we did, um, got this Kobe PSA 9. Was super pumped about that. Bought that for like 80 or 90 bucks raw on eBay. Got a PSA 9 and then Ginobili Gold Refractor. The only PSA 8.5 I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> Maybe the last. Um, so those came from the last submission. Let's go ahead and start going through this submission here. So our first card is a soccer card or a football card, depending on where you're from. Um, this is a black gold numbered out of eight. Um, I'm not sure about this player. I mean, I, I did some research on him. He seems like a pretty good player, um, but I don't think like a super top money getter in terms of uh, resale value. But I pulled this out of a free pack I got from Card Hobby back when I first started ordering there. Um, they were giving out some free packs depending on how many um, things you bought and, and feedback you got from sellers. And this came out of that free pack and it looked good to me. So I figured, you know what? Uh, good name, numbered eight, might as well grade it and see what happens. So let's see what we got on this one. Ooh, <laughs> PSA 10. Not too bad for a free pack. Again, I don't know what this is worth. It could be 20 bucks. It could be 50 bucks or I have no clue. But PSA 10, can't go wrong with that. All right, now basketball from here on out <laughs> first one uh we got a chet rookie revolution new year pulled us out of a chinese new year pack um i typically have had pretty good luck re grading revolution this one looked good to me so let's see how we did on this one ah dang nine okay not sure what why it got a nine i get me a little bit of white up in that corner maybe did it in i have some other revolution cards i just graded in my last submission now with a nine on this I'm kind of worried about those. I'm having a feeling those might not come back with the, the best grades now. All right, this one I knew was a risk. Um, Paolo, Court Kings, Acetate, Rookies. If you look at the bottom here, it is. I didn't know if this was the design of the card or if every one kind of has like this sort of jagged edge at the bottom here. Um, but it's definitely a hard card, hard to cut, uh, tough card to gem. Uh, if you look at the pop reports, there was not a lot of 10s and a lot of 9s and, and below. So let's see if we could get a 10. Ah, 9. Okay. That's kind of what I expected. I, I was holding out hope we might get a 10 on this, but yeah, I'm not surprised at a 9. Oh, not off to a good start. I don't like when that 9 stack is bigger than the 10 stack. Let's make a turn around here. Paolo from Select. This is the Retail Blue Parallel. So it's got the blue prism up there. This is also the uh, Premier Level. Kind of a step up from the base concourse. Come on, let's get 10 here. There we go. These select cards have looked pretty good so far. I, of all the ones I've ripped, um, I know in previous years, select used to have a lot of centering problems, but centering and condition looked a lot better on, on the 2022 select stuff. So I know I have some more in here. Let's see if we can keep getting some more 10s on these 2022 selects. This is a Chet rookie. This is the base concourse, but it's the prism again. Uh, and I've even I've seen like base blue, not even the prism version, sell for like between 40 and 50 bucks, which is kind of crazy how, how high chat stuff is selling. But the blue prism should bring more than that. If we get a 10, let's go. All right, there we go. Keep it rolling with the select 10s. I think we got one more. We got Jaden Ivey, which man, I don't know what's going on with this guy. I don't know why Monty Williams is not playing him. A lot of weird things going on in Detroit. This is the green, white, purple. If this doesn't get a 10, I'm sure it's a money loser. So hopefully we get a 10 to at least break even or make a little bit of money. All right, we got a PSA 10 on this one. There we go. Next one up, Jalen Duran pulled us out of a Chronicles hobby box. This one is numbered out of 99, Dynagon. This is the blue parallel. Looks really nice color match, or not really a match. They have worn the teal jerseys in this picture, but nice complimentary color. And can we get a 10 on the Duran? There we go. Yeah, and again, a PSA 9 probably would not have been good on this one. So definitely got saved by a 10 on that card. Here is another one we probably need a 10 on. Jalen Green from 2021 Select. And yeah, talking about centering, now that I actually look at this, 
it does look thicker on the bottom and a little bit thinner on the right, even left to right, maybe a little thinner on the right, a little thicker on the left. All right, did that squeak by with a 10? Ah, nine, okay, yeah, I'm, probably shouldn't have sent this card in now that I look at it again. And I actually sent in another copy of this exact same card. Hopefully the centering is better on the other one that I sent in in my most recent submission. Okay, another one to the nine stack. All right, next card we got Wilt. This is numbered out of 50. This was the pink fast break pulled out of a 2021 prism fast break. Centering looked unbelievable on this. Looked over the card, didn't see anything wrong. Come on, let's get a 10. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. There's no way this is an eight. I'm sorry. It's just not. Um, hmm. I don't know. It looks good to me. I, I must have missed something. I, I, who knows? I, I, I honestly, I'd like to try recracking that oh, eight over on this stack here. All right, come on, let's let's redeem ourselves now. LeBron, newly crowned in-season uh, tournament champion and, and uh, tournament MVP. This is the T minus three, two, one purple. This is probably my favorite one, a favorite version of of this card here. I I love the the background. The purple looks awesome with the uh, with the Lakers jersey. Let's get a ten on this. There we go. That's what I figured we'd get on this one. PSA 10 on the LeBron purple. Got another LeBron. They put this one in this nice new holder. I really love this new PSA holder here. Acetate again. I don't know, I'm kind of worried now. <laughs> this looked good to me, but again, I don't know. I, I probably should just stop grading acetates with PSA. Um, again, I couldn't really find a problem. Look, I looked for like wrinkles on all this stuff and Looked over the surface. There were some lines on the surface. I didn't know if those were print lines or scratches. And let's see how they graded it. Ugh. All right. I'm assuming what I thought were maybe just print lines on the surface. I'm, I'm guessing they probably considered those scratches. That's a bummer, though, because I thought this looked pretty clean. Yeah, probably. Maybe I'll just crack this out. I don't know. Probably not even worth keeping it. In this case, it has a PSA 7. All right. Couple uh, head scratcher grades there on the right. All right, let's let's uh, see if we can close it off a little better than we've been doing. KD, this is a contenders case hit permit to our license to dominate. <laughs> I laughed at this card just because I kind of like that it's sort of set up like an ID, and this was this during the sad KD years where his face just looked like he was bummed out all, all the time in all those photos, which is how most people look on their driver's license. So I kind of thought it was. It was funny. Um, I don't think even in a PSA 10, this is super valuable, but let's see if we can get a 10. All right, there we go. Again, in a PSA 9, probably wouldn't have been worth it to grade this, but PSA 10, I'll take it. All right, we got some Denny cards now. This one was actually, and through the magic of editing, we are back. I forgot that this was actually a card that I bought off Card Hobby. It was graded through this GBTC. I think it's like a Chinese grading company. It was graded 9.5 gem mint. They gave it nine fives on everything but a nine on the surface. And I was pretty, it might be hard to see on the video here. There is a teeny tiny little dot. I don't know if you can see it. Right, you may not be able to see it on the video. I, I can barely see it even off the video, but there was a teeny little dot there. And I thought that that may have been um, why it got a nine subgrade for the surface, but everything else looks super clean. I already have one of these in a PSA 10, um, but figured I would try my shot at another. Can we get another 10 on this one? There we go. Very cool. I'll probably sell one, either keep this one and sell the other or, or keep the other one and sell this one. We'll see. Probably sell one of them. Don't really need two of those, but I, I like the going through the process of seeing, the, seeing if I could crack and, and regrade that one. Okay. To 299 Prism Red Rookie. I bought this raw on Card Hobby. I've been grading these red rookies for a while now. I think I've graded at least two, maybe three, definitely at least two. And they both have come back nines. One may even come back an eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this one looked super clean. Great centering all the way around. Didn't find any surface issues on the front. The back, I mean, there's maybe the tiniest bit of white down there. But let's see if this could come... Go from the U.S. all the way to China, where someone ripped it, 
sent it all the way back to the US. Can we get a 10 on this finally? Yes. <laughs> oh man, been trying forever to get a PSA 10 on this uh, red, the 299. Oh geez, that was a long, long journey. Very happy to have that one. And our 10 stack is getting a lot bigger now. I like to see that. All right, got another Denny. This is Trophy Collection Starlight. This is the retail exclusive case hit, they call it. I don't really know what's considered a case hit anymore. That term's so overused. But these were not easy to pull. Um, it was a big, big um, base set. I think there's, yeah, number 167. He was a rookie. So I think it was a 200 card set. So out of 200 cards, not easy to pull. The guy you're looking for um, had a couple of these raw. There were none. There were zero of these cop cards graded at all. No, nothing, no, nothing in any grade on uh, PSA's pop report. So I'd love to get a pop one PSA 10. All right, there we go. Pop one PSA 10 again. Probably most people don't care about this card, um, but rare rookie, only one in a PSA 10. And I again, this is another card that I graded uh, in my last submission as well. That's currently at PSA. Um, so I'd love to get another uh, PSA 10 back on that one. There's another card I got from Card Hobby. I got this for almost nothing. Yellow laser. And not only that, number to 25, it's jersey numbered 9 out of 25. These yellow lasers are impossible to find. It's a retail exclusive parallel from retail boxes. Um, there's probably a ton of these still sitting in unopened retail boxes. And these don't pop up for sale very often. Got it for like next to nothing on Card Hobby. Love that it was jersey numbered. Would love to get a 10 on this one. Let's see. Ah, 9. Okay, so it's jersey numbered and grade numbered. <laughs> PSA 9. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good. Maybe centering was off a little bit. Mm, I don't know. I think they, this probably could have gone either way. It probably if PSA had a 9.5 grade, it would have got a 9.5. All right. One more to the nine stack, but two cards left here and two big, huge, monstrous cards. Kaboom. Ginobili. You guys knew as a Ginobili fan, I had to go after this one. Bought this raw on eBay. Um, and the seller wrote clean on, in the description, had some good pictures. Um, I remember I said there was, you can't even see it on the video. I probably said it in the preview video, which I'll link the, I've, if I haven't mentioned it already, I'll link the preview video um, to the description for this video here. There was a very tiny, tiny, tiny uh, surface mark. You can't even see it. It was so minuscule, microscopic, and I didn't see anything else wrong with the card. So I'm hoping that doesn't bring it down. Let's see if we can get a 10 on this. All right, there we go. And actually, I, so I did look at the pop reports for these two. Almost all these that get sent in for grading get 10s. I think there was like over 20 PSA 10s already and 9s and 8s, there was like maybe five total between all the other grades. Um, most of them get PSA 10. So I would have been really bummed if this didn't get a 10 because these sell for like high 200s, low 300s raw and PSA 10s are like 450. So it's not, um, it's not even like a two to one multiplier to get a PSA 10 on this. And if you get a nine, probably be worth even less uh, than a raw. So very happy to get a 10 on that. And this last one here, number 10 out of 25, Ginobili. Gold Refractor from Topps 1952 style from 2005. Man, I had wanted one of these cards for so long. Finally found someone um, through Instagram who was uh, had one he wanted to sell. He, had, he said he had it in his PSA stack, but he said, you know what? Um, he wanted to move some cards, so he, he said he would sell this one before he sent it to PSA. And I knew I was going to send it to PSA anyway. I knew it wasn't going to get a 10. Obviously, centering is a little bit off. Um, definitely skinny on the right and the bottom, little thick on the top and the left. Um, but other than that, there may have been a little... I think I was able to wipe it off. There was some schmutz there when I got it. But edges, corners, back starting to look good. There are no PSA 10s of this. So again, not expecting this to be the first PSA 10, but would love to get a 9 on this one. All right, there we go. PSA 9, oh, so cool to get a 9 on a super rare card like this, especially when there's no PSA 10s, and who, who knows if there will ever be any PSA 10s of this card. Definitely not a lot of these around, but man, look at that big stack of 10s, and even the 9s, some of these I wasn't expecting 10s, like this one I knew what didn't have a great shot at a 10, and even this one with the centering, and this one I knew wasn't gonna get a 10, so outside of a few uh, head scratcher grades <laughs> on these couple over here, very successful. Big stack of 10s. Love it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.